Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and I have another Diddy tutorial for you. And this week I'm going to show you how to add an image and a description to a category template. So you may know by now that the theme builder has a template option for the category pages of your blog posts. And you can show, you know, a Divi blog module there. But there's no way to add a featured image for a category like there would be for a page or a blog post. But today I'm going to show you how to do that. And just to be clear, this is something that's not available in WordPress. So it's not just like something in Divi. Divi can't add a featured image to a category if it's not even a function of WordPress. But we can add that functionality into WordPress with our plugin. Now you may be thinking, well, there's lots of plugins that can add this feature and there are some plugins that can do this, but there's no plugins other than ours that can add it for the dynamic content option in the theme builder template. Uh, we have a very simple, affordable plugin that you can check out. It's called the Divi Taxonomy Helper. Now a taxonomy is just another term for, you know, like a category or a tag, things like that. So that's what the ta taxonomy is, taxonomy helper. It's we're helping things along, adding some extra functionality to that. So you will need our plugin for this. And if you're a member, then just go to your account and download it. Um, and if you're not a member, then ask yourself, why not? Um, anyway, so you can go ahead and get that and then move on to step number two. We're actually going to add an image to the category. So you would go into your WordPress dashboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you can follow along here in this blog post. Um, if you're on YouTube, there's a description, a link in the description to come over to the written post here. But yeah, it's very familiar as far as going to your category page. Um, if you're in your dashboard, like in WordPress here in the back end, just simply go over here, hover over posts, and then you'll click on categories. And you know, if you don't have any here, go ahead and add some categories. I have a few categories here on this site. Um, in fact, you can see this one. I'm going to just use this one. It's called cats. And I have nine posts in this category. So if I click on cats, which is the same as clicking edit, then right here, you can see I have this image added. It says thumbnail. Now this thumbnail option is actually added by our plugin. Um, so I have the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin installed. So I can um, click on add, upload or add image, and then come in here and select an image and um, whichever image you think describes or fits, you know, represents your category, right? And since I'm calling this the cat's category, I'll just, like I had there before, I'll put that yellow cat there. Now, if you were going to view this page by default, like, like without using the theme builder, you could actually go to the same page. Remember, we're under posts and categories and you could click this view button. I'm going to open that in a new tab. All right. So you'll come to a page that's really terrible looking like this, right? So this is how it looks in Divi by default from this category. You can see from, from my URL, I'm at pacreative.com slash tutorial slash category slash cats. So I'm in the cats category. So, now I'm viewing any blog posts that are about cats, right? But I would like there to be a nice title at the top here and a nice photo along the top that says like, you know, cats category and then a picture of a cat. I would like that to be here and I would like these to be in a grid. So go back to your theme builder. So go to Divi theme builder and you'll have to add a template that's for categories. Let me show you that. So right here, all category pages, that's what you would want to have selected. You would save that. Um, you could add that. If you need to add a new one, you can click that. But basically in here is where I will be working to make, to add the image that we've added to our category. Like I said, I would like a picture of the cat, the category cat here at the top. So I'm going to go to this blue section and go to the background click on this background image tab, go over here to the dynamic content option, and then click on featured image. And again, you may be like, well, where's the featured image? That's 
that's what we're adding in our plugin. Now, if this was a blog post template or a page, that featured image would be added in the back end of each WordPress page. But for us, we've, we have to do it in the categories there. So click featured image and it probably won't show the actual one here because it's, you know, it's not on the actual page. But now we need to add a little more content. So again, that cat, that yellow cat will show here. So what I'd like to do is add a title. So I'm gonna just add a text module. And again here, this isn't really part of the tutorial, but it's kind of related. I'm gonna choose post archive title. And in fact, you could even get a little creative here. I'll show you a little trick while we're at it. So we know that the category is going to dynamically say cat on the front end. So what if I, you know, like I said, do a little trick here and say, this is the space and it's gonna say cats. And I'm gonna say space category, yay. So this is the before and after. And I will just save that. And while we are here, I will add another section and a row and add a blog module because I want to actually display the posts that are in the cats category. Turn on post for current page. That basically means turn on dynamic content. And I will go ahead and make this a grid because I like that better. All right, here we go. I'm gonna save this. And now I will refresh my cats category page. And there you go. There it is. So it's, it's just something that you can't do otherwise. And isn't that a great feature? Like now I can, whatever category it is, I mean, you could be doing any kind of you know, art and design or construction or whatever it is, and now you can show an image that is relevant. And again, you could make this look really nice, but here's kind of what I was saying. This is the cat dynamic and then category. It's just a little trick I threw in there, but anyway, obviously you could make that bigger. You could go in there and make it like an overlay over the image a little bit or something like that. Like maybe you wanted to make this text, you know, like really big or something and make it white. And since we know the cat images here, we could actually go into this image in the image tab, right? And choose the background blend, we'll say overlay. And then we could put a little, uh, a little bit of color like that. Okay. Now, um, I will show you one more thing, but I'll just save this quick. There, you know, have fun with it, play around with that. You can do what you want there. One more thing, you can also use the image module. So if I was, instead of using this, or e even in addition to it, I guess, but let's say I just wanted to add an image module. Go ahead and add that, so I'm in image, and then delete that placeholder then you get this dynamic content option and then choose featured image. It's the exact same thing that I showed you um, just with the one with the background and the other is the image module. So either way, it's just the normal Divi dynamic content, but again, without our plugin, that doesn't exist. And there we have two of the category images showing. So again, this just helps you create a more attractive, more pleasing category page. And I hope that you guys really enjoy this. If you like this kind of tutorial, we do it every week. So on our channel here, we do something related to Divi, sometimes more WordPress, but usually Divi related every single week. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button because really that's what you get. And yeah, I we just have what um, thousands of subscribers that enjoy this. And so we hope that you do too. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.